Hey Ice Songs fans, Stephen Nelson here for IceHogs.com, and this is the second episode of Ice Songs Bacon Buddies. To my right, I have Brandon, he's Peary and he knows it, Peary. And then I have Jeremy, you want some mo, Morin, fellas. How's it feel to be on the second installment of Bacon Buddy? You know, I probably got snubbed on the first one, don't know what you're thinking, but, you know, just happy to be here. Same, I, don't, I really don't know who were the first two picks, but I it think... It was Smitty and Yimmy. Yeah. A little dead fest there, yeah. but, uh, you know, this this will be a good one. You know, it's probably real boring, but whatever. Jeremy Warren with the game winner in overtime on Sunday night against Woo! the Wolf. I want to talk about Selly etiquette. Maybe if you can give us a few rules that you, or a few guidelines that you like to abide by when it comes to celebrations. I'll start with you, Mo, because you scored the game winner on Sunday. I just, I want to address something first. Um, the night before that, Andrew Shaw, his celebration was unacceptable. He had, he had two celebrations. I mean, if one is okay, if it's a big celebration, it was a big goal. So a big celebration is okay. But two is uh, is unacceptable, I think. Unless it, unless you're wearing the Stanley Cup, and then you can do whatever you want. Pierce. Fair enough. You know, he held that uh, ice drag a little long. Yep. But, uh, you know, it's Shawzy. Shaw facts. He can do whatever he wants, probably. But, uh, you know, with celebrations, you know, the bigger is better most of the time. Yeah. You know, you, you want to incorporate uh, all your tools. You don't get the stick in there. Maybe a little twirl every once in a while. But, uh, you know, fist, casual fist pump's always good. You want to act like you've done it before. It depends how big the goal is. I think yeah. uh, your celly should depend on how big the goal is. You know, we got the best fans in, at the BMO anyway, yeah. so that's always good. It gets you into it. You know, celly's probably get a little too big at some times, but uh, you get jacked up when the uh, crowd's going well and you hear tick, tick, boom. When it comes to famous celebrations, of course, people think of the Temu Solani in Winnipeg shooting the glove out of the air. As we're getting friendly on our bacon buddies, as we're, we're okay with that. Yeah, we are. Okay but with that. what's your favorite goal celebration of all time? There was a one in playoffs. Theo Fleury scores an uh, overtime goal, and uh, he just sheds all his players. The players all came to grab him. He sheds them. He skates to center, goes on his knees, and just starts fist pumping until yes. his shoulder separated. It was genius. Mo? Uh, I don't know his name at all. Um, uh, but it's just the famous, the, the, old, the old running, the, the old running it's man, great. I think. I don't know. Maybe it's Gretter. I don't know. Sorry, to Gretzky! Scores! He did it! He did it! That's probably happened leader. more than once. It's not the only guy to ever do it's it. Gretzky. Actually, you want to know what? you got to find some old clips of Chicago Blackhawks. The, the old shin taps. Oh. They used to go around, no celebrations. They just used to go around and just tap each other's shins. And, and then they would just shin tap. Shin and tap. Then, then the, that. Old, the head rub. Ask the team yeah. about the shin tap. We, we tried to incorporate it early in the year, but uh, I didn't really score any goals early in the year, so I couldn't really do it. So, whatever. Maybe we could get a little demonstration here. I'm going to actually stand up and film this. Yes, you should. Okay, clearly I just scored a nice goal. So, yeah. uh, you know, skating over Seam all, give him the old shin tap. <laughs> and then the oldest one. Yeah. Just real casual and you skate away like you've done it before. And then you, they usually skate to the bench or they don't even skate to the bench. Yeah, so. they just kind of glide around. They've done it before. Yeah, so, so. And we're back. Bacon Buddies continuing. You two, <laughs> being younger guys, seem to have a pretty decent fashion sense. Now, I don't know if my hair's messed up because you... Give me those shin tap. But now, are there guys on the ice hogs that could probably use some some fashion help from you two? Oh yeah, I need I, serious help. It's you know if you look good, you play good. That's yeah. the motto we go by. And uh, you know, use all the time actually off the ice we look good, and all the time on the ice we look pretty good. Yeah, and there's a couple guys that could uh, use a Yaozi. use Yaozi. 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 Oh, he goes with the uh, kind of the old fashioned look. Like he, he has just his dad's clothes that he brings to the rink every time, especially his dress clothes. Are just way too big on him. I think Carter Hutton could use some can work. He, he wears his winter hat around. It's, We're taking donations for yeah. a new hat for Huts. Yeah. You know, it's uh, getting kind of embarrassing. And the other guy, I hate. He's a great guy. Just P. LeBlanc. Just uh, he goes with the Jersey Shore look. I don't know if you're, uh, you know what that is, but real kind of graphic tees and stuff like that. I don't know. Affliction. Yeah, he actually just he, he actually no. he bedazzles his shirts. I yeah, think. he does. I'm pretty sure he's putting jewels on them, like. Self. He literally self was in the locker room two seconds ago, and he goes, he goes, hey Mo, look at this shirt. It's mint, isn't it? I'm like, yeah, P, it's pretty cool, man. It's, it was, it was not a cool shirt at all. You know, th there's some issues, but uh, you know, they're, they're good guys, and they pull it off. Yeah. And you know, it's, uh, you know, we're just trying to help them with the ladies. That's, yeah. that's the end result. You know, it's, you look good and you play good on and off the ice. Right. And then the ladies will flock like the salmon of Capistrano. 
Whatever that is. I don't, I don't, know. I don't even Hashtag. know. All right, so nice for line. you want some mo, Jeremy Morin, and he's Peary and he knows it, Brandon Peary. I'm Stephen Elson. We'll see you next time on Baking Buddies here on IceHogs.com. Cons, keep your head up if you're watching this. And, you know, look up. Peary will throw his first hit of the year on Connolly tomorrow. First hit of the year. Can you book it? Guarantee? My gloves stay on for that, so probably, yeah. yeah. yeah.